Happy Leap Day, everyone. It's February 29th, and I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Ivy is looking for some ingredients to help Master Laurel heal the Tree of Seasons and restore harmony to the world. Yesterday, we bought several herbs and mushrooms, maybe. Mudcaps sound like mushrooms to me. We've got two of those two hazel root and three oak wart. Um, but I don't think we're done with Master Laurel's task yet, so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Okay. You find Viney uh, at Trickfoot's Terrific Trinkets. That's right, we're supposed to track this critter down. Welcome, he says, and happy turning leaf to ya. What can I do for you? Um... This jolly fellow is quite approachable and very willing to help you. Excellent. Uh, and we and we can pickpocket him. All right. Disco, do your job. One. Uh, Disco um, finds a piece of amber laying on the ground, maybe. I don't know. Thanks, Disco. That brings us to 32. Disco, our lightning bug, who is attracted to shiny trinkets. Um, okay, so let's see. We have some choices here. One, uh, we can either negotiate the price or demand a lower price. And then we can purchase other items if we feel inclined. Uh, okay, let's just show this. Ah, yes, he says, you are here on Crown Spire business. Master Laurel did inform me of what you would be after. Here it is. It will be five amber as agreed. Viney pulls out a rather large and ornate-looking hourglass. That's interesting. Um, note, if you don't have enough amber, we do. You'll go into debt. I must pay back that. I didn't know we... Okay, we can go into debt. Or, uh, and you're also penalized by an additional negative two amber. We pay interest on our debt. Okay, well, we don't have to do that. So, um, erase that. Okay. 1A, negotiate the price or demand the lower price? I don't feel like Ivy's the sort to demand a lower price, especially when it's not her business and uh, apparently negotiated this price beforehand with the guard. So we're not going to try to intimidate him, but um, I guess we can try to persuade him. Uh, it's a charisma roll. Our charisma is plus zero. If your virtue is more than zero, that is us, you gain a plus two bonus. So we get a d20 plus two. 20, that's a natural 20. That gets us a boon that we can hold on to for later. We can use that at any point and it gives us an extra uh, d4 on a roll, I believe if I remember correctly. Uh, so that's 20 plus two, we got the best result. Of course I'll give you a special price. I'm sure this is important to Master Laurel. He is a good friend. Remove three amber from your inventory. You have purchased the hourglass. I guess we should write that down. Um, so it cost us three, so we're down to 29. I'm going to write down that we have the hourglass. I don't know if we need to, but I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, so that's, we negotiated the price, and now we can purchase other items. If we feel inclined, purchase something. While you're here, I have other items available for sale, should you be inclined. I'm sure something here should come in handy for you. You'll have a chance to recruit party members at the next stop. Okay, I think it's reminding us, the calendar's reminding us of that because it can cost us some money, I think, to, to do that, to recruit party members. So, we have 29 amber. Uh, health potion is 5 amber. Those aren't as powerful as I wished they were. They give you another D4 health, and our our health isn't... We haven't really had trouble. We were half dead at one point, but that was fighting King Rathex. Maybe, I don't know. Not too keen on buying a health potion. I thought we were rolling in money, um, but then I went on the Discord channel and saw that people... There's people with 50 or 60 amber going into this, so uh, we're a little on the low end as far as, I think, how much money we... we the average character is going to have at this point. Um, our other choices here. 10 amber for uh, an antidote. 
consumed on use removes the poison condition. And uh, I, I don't know what poison does. That could be bad. Phoenix Tears. Tin Amber. Consumed on re use removes a single wound inflicted from death. If you die and you're resurrected, one of, the, one of the conditions, one of the things that can happen is you could receive a wound. So I don't... I don't feel the need to stock up on that until I need it, because first you'd have to die, and then you'd have to roll the condition that gave you the wound. Um, so this antidote I'm curious about, but that would bring us to 19 amber, and I'm worried that recruiting a party member is going to be expensive. If these things cost 10, a party member might cost even more. So, I think Ivy's just going to hold on to the cash for now. Uh, maybe Disco can help us out and find some more amber laying on the ground somewhere. Um, okay. Well, that, my friends, is February 29th. So, we shall say goodbye for today and visit Ivy again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.